In the previous discussion of PC generator and PC machine specifically, we have seen that, and as already said, that PC machine can be uh, worked as a DC generator also and a DC motor also. So, constructionally, there is no difference between a DC generator and a DC motor. Again, if I say that this is a machine and if I am applying some mechanical power to it and I am taking a electrical power, this is in this way, it will be known as the generator and specifically the DC generator. Now, when I am giving an electrical power from this side and I am taking some mechanical power here. So the flow of energy will be from electrical domain to the magnetic domain and then to the mechanical domain. Then it is called as a motor and when since we are talking about the DC type of motors and this is called as a DC motor. So from right to left it is known as DC motor. Now coming to the principle of working of a DC motor. DC motor or any motor specifically when I say about the conductors. So when any conductor, current carrying conductor in a plate is placed in a magnetic field, it experiences a force. And that force is given by Fleming's left hand rule. This one, such that the direction of my thumb will be give, giving me the force in which the conductor will experience the force. This index finger, the direction of this index finger will be giving me the direction of the flux phi and this direction of the uh, this uh, my middle finger will be telling me the direction of the current so whatever be the case i'll be getting a force somewhere in some direction so uh, in dc motors Fleming's right hand, uh, Fleming's left hand rule works, whereas in the DC generator, Fleming's right hand rule is work. So, when I come to the working, so suppose this is the uh, core again. If I am supplying some current to my conductor, and um, it is again placed in a magnetic field suppose right now for sake of convenience let's say it is a permanent magnet so flux will be from here to here in this way my direction of flux here is this way and suppose the current is coming out of the board so I will say the current is coming out of the moon here. So, my conductor will be experience a force in the upward direction. The force will be there in the upward direction, and my motor will start working in the clockwise direction. So, this is the way uh, DC motor works. Coming to one more very interesting thing, which is called the back EMF and its significance. <clears throat> what is the back EMF and what is its significance? We'll see. This is a very important thing in, in, when we talk about the DC motors. What happens 
in any machine, we have already seen in generator that Eg is equals to Vt plus Ia Rk. Everything is known to us. Eg is the generated voltage in the case when I'm this is the case when I'm talking about the generator. Eg is equals to Vt plus Ia Rk. When in terms of motor, I write, I can write That is I A is equal to Vt minus E V upon R A. So after looking at this, it's the same thing which I have written in the previous one. I A is the electric current again, which is the terminal voltage applied to the motor. This case is for motors. I A is equal to Vt minus E V upon R A. And EB is the back EMF. It was generated EMF in the case when I was talking about the generator. Now, when I am talking about a motor, it's the same thing, but I am saying it as a, it is EB, that is the back EMF. So how, what is the significance of back EMF? We'll see. So, at the starting, what happens? Since there is no back EMF, why back MF is not there? Because we know that EB or in the generator part we have written EG generated. Here in, as we are talking about the motor, EB is equal to 5ZNP by 60A. Phi is constant here. This is constant, this is constant, Z is constant. My number of poles are also constant and 60 is also constant. So I can see directly that my EV is directly proportional to the speed. Since the, there is no speed, so there will not be any back here. So when I talk about the starting, so at the starting the speed will not be there in the motor. So my back here will be very less at that time. So, if I neglect this thing right now, but the starting, at starting, when n is equal to 0, my back EMF EV will be equal to 0, or I can say it is 0. So, at the starting, this will be 0. At that point, IA will be directly having Vt upon Ra. Ra is the armature resistance and then the generator part also we have seen that the resistance of armature is very very less. This is very less which is in points actually 0 0.04, 0 0.05 or kind of that. So at the starting my current IA will be very much high. It will be very high. Uh, May be possible that my armature is not able to withstand that much high current and may got faulty due to overheating or burning. If it is able to withstand this armature current, then also there will be very much overheating and the wear of the interior of the armature will be there. So that is not desirable. At that time when we are starting a motor, it should not get burned. Why it will get burned? Again, you can see that uh, EB, your back EMF is directly proportional to the speed of the motor. Since at the starting speed is 0, so my back EMF is also 0. So EB here will be 0. And the current at the starting will be directly limited by my resistance only, which is armature, which is very small. 
so this armature resistance since it has seven points so my armature current will be very much high so that is not desirable when now when the motor picks up speed it is when the motor starts speeding up after some time and ev is also there and when ev starts increasing so my current will come down so at that time my current will start coming down but when the starting uh, current, uh, starting current ia will be very much high so that is not desirable so back emf is very much important in dc motor to have the rotation if i want to uh, fruitful rotation then back emf should be there at the time when i am starting my machine so we have seen two things very important things this is a very important notation we will remove this thing and we write back emf ev is directly proportional to speed and first thing this is a very important thing another thing which we have written over here i a is equal to bt minus ev upon ra which is the armature resistance 